What's going on everyone? Welcome back to the channel and if you're new here, hello, welcome. I'm Scotty for Prez and in this video I want to talk about the community's relationship with this franchise. The relationship between Call of Duty and its players are more dysfunctional than Blueface and Krishan. Why are you relating with him when I'm here? That's the only so who is it? If you end up enjoying the video, drop a like to support the channel and consider subscribing for future content. My fascination of this relationship is matched only by Joe Rogan's obsession with bears and Tech Knight with holes. Regardless of how bad we claim a game to be, how ridiculous the changes are or how greedy the bundles are, we come back. It's a cycle that happens every year without fail and recently a question has popped into my head. Is it us? Are we simply the enabler in this toxic and abusive relationship? There's a few points I need to make and the first one is how we, the community, ask for change and never accept it. We beg for change. And then when things are changed, we revolt. We lose our minds. I'm not saying every change is good. I'm not saying every change is needed. But how can you claim this game is a $70 DLC or it's just a glorified DLC and then complain about changes they've tried to implement? So we don't want a DLC, right? That sounds fair. But we want exactly the same unlock system we want the same old perk system. We want the same old maps. They try to do something different with zombies, but no, we want the same old round based zombies. That's one of the biggest things that's been grinding my gears is that people are gonna say this is a DLC. It's just downloadable content. That's all it is, is an add on. And basically shit on the game for it. But then all they want to play is essentially an old game. The thing is people can never just settle for a change. They don't like it. Maybe you don't like zombies this year, that's fine. Address that and maybe they're gonna change it next year. But there's plenty of people that do. They can't please everyone and at the same time, have you ever thought about how many people play Call of Duty? Can you expect to like every single aspect of each game year after year? I mean, you definitely can't if you're also asking for change year after year. The next point I have to make is how players are just straight up in denial. They say they hate a Call of Duty, they're not pre-ordering the next one, this is their last one, and yet somehow Modern Warfare 3 surpassed Modern Warfare 2022 in almost every aspect popularity-wise throughout the first few weeks. I can honestly say that I did not pre-order Modern Warfare 3. Did I know I was going to buy it? Yes, most definitely, and I never claimed otherwise, but I've been let down these past few years from pre-orders, not just Call of Duty, and I really haven't felt motivated to prematurely drop my money on another one. I understand not enjoying aspects of the game. I do. I've been playing this franchise of games for a long, long time, and I have parts of every single game I don't like. But why can't we just accept that we're not going to get everything we want? The game comes out every year, and if they keep it too alike, then it's bad. If they change it too much, it's bad. The constant complaints from the community just make me wonder if all the bad hype swirling the game is really just us and not accepting the game for what it is. On the other side of the argument though, the devs and Activision, do they even read feedback? There is a lot that they improved on this year and a lot that's been done great. But why is the matchmaking and connection constantly shitting the bed more than me after a night of drinking and eating Jack in the Box? It's like they don't even address it. They don't address the connection issues. They don't address the matchmaking. It's come to the point where I just don't think us as fans are ever gonna be happy because we're always gonna find something that isn't to our liking. And as for the execs, at the end of the day, they're going to make the devs do what makes the company the most money regardless of backlash from the fans. My point I'm trying to make is that Call of Duty comes out every single year. I believe there needs to be a solid medium of innovation and classic gameplay carrying over. I don't want to play the same game over and over year after year with just different weapons. What people need to understand is that if they only add new guns and keep exactly the same mechanics, that shit is going to get boring. This whole video has kind of been a shotgun of words and feelings and I try my best to keep it on track but I've just been annoyed with both sides for a few weeks now. Let me know what you guys think below because as always I love hearing other perspectives, it, it helps me see things differently and understand even my own opinions better. Drop a like if you liked any of these corny ass jokes that I made which I thought we're pretty clever, and I'm going to see you guys next time. Deuces.